And we're back, counting down the top 50 most jacked fullbacks of all time. Today we're going through numbers 45 through 41. If you haven't seen the other video, I'm putting together highlights for these players based on whatever I can dig up. So let's get into it. At 45, we have Luke Lawton, played for the Raiders, Jets, and Colts. He was in that Colts team that beat the Bears in the Super Bowl a while back with Peyton Manning. Big guy, six foot two forty, and apparently ran a forty yard dash under four five, which is pretty impressive for how huge he is. Uh, kind of looks like a Viking. Um, joined the Marines after retiring from the NFL, and he currently owns a company that makes football helmets aimed at reducing concussions. Uh, you know what, man? Cool kids never go pro. I, you know, I wasn't a cool kid. I didn't kiss a girl until I was until my senior prom. How nerdy is that? Next up is Daryl Johnston at number 44, legendary fullback that played for the Cowboys for 11 years, won three Super Bowls with that 90s dynasty, and notably was the lead blocker for Emmett Smith for most of his career. Emmett Smith is the NFL's all-time leading rusher with over 18,000 yards, which is just ridiculous. It's a record that probably won't be broken. Uh, just take a look at this guy. Old school stoutness on full display. Absolute monster. 6'2", 240, and very good at football. Here's uh, an NFL combine physique shot. I think it's hilarious that they did these. Uh, not quite as impressive as Tom Brady's physique shot back in the day, but uh, very built nonetheless. Emmett Smith needs 10 yards now to break Walter Payton's all-time record. Jerry Jones, the owner, Michael Irvin, the teammate, Walter Payton's mother and brother on hand as well. Second and seven. Daryl Johnston, running back Syracuse. That's the hardest white boy in the world. He's kidding. Uh, we call him a hard white boy.
Boston, where are you? Would you please stand? Daryl, you mean the world to me. The sacrifices you made, not simply with your body, but your whole spirit. You took care of me as though you were taking care of your little brother. Without you, I know today would not have been possible. I love you, Daryl, from the bottom of my heart. At 43 is Dion Anderson, another Cowboys fullback. He played for them in the late 2000s, and he went to Connecticut. Apparently, at some point in college, he lost his scholarship, dropped out of school, came back after an entire year off, and had to pay for everything himself. He lived in an abandoned locker room for an entire semester, no AC or anything, and he did that until he earned his scholarship back. Pretty crazy. He worked out at DeFranco's gym over his playing career. It's a gym in New Jersey. It's basically like a West Side barbell style private invite only gym geared more towards athletes. Uh, a lot of NFL players have worked out there. In fact, some people you'll see later in this series trained there as well. Uh, from what I can tell, this guy was an absolute animal in the gym and seems like a pretty funny dude as well. I see potential in you, and I'm like, keep going, don't stop, keep going, and you just stop. Like, I don't know, it just, it just pisses me off because I know what you're capable of. Even if you don't realize it, I already know. Like, I can see, like, you can go five more yards, you can jump two more inches high, you can put, like, 50 more pounds in the back of the next one. You know what I'm saying? Like, just keep going, don't stop. He's a guy you should know, and not just because of this infamous moment at training camp, when he ate a cricket to settle a bet. Yeah, I picked it up. My choo 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 small. Than his willingness to eat insects. Bacon, banana pudding, chitlins, ice cream, sweet potato pie, donuts. Yes! What we need to do. is Greg Camella, played for the Giants for four years and had one-year stints in Tennessee, Houston, and Tampa Bay. Presumably a smart guy, went to Stanford and got an MBA from Harvard a couple years after he left the NFL. Um, I can't help but imagine that he is an NYPD officer who also plays for the Giants. To me, he just looks like a cop. Um, But big guy, 6'1", 250. Take a look at the forearms, the triceps. Good stuff. Um, And also, he was on the same high school team as Matt Hasselbeck. Pretty interesting. Collins back to throw. Looking in the corner, he's got coming up.
And last one for the day at 41 is Tyler Klutz, yet another former Dallas fullback. Huge guy, 6'2", 260. He played defensive end in college and had a very unique road to the NFL, undrafted in 2008, and in the three years before finally making a 53-man roster. He played in the Canadian League, Arena League, and the United Football League. It's very impressive. And just take a look at the the level of muscularity in the head and neck area here. It's truly astonishing. And I don't even have to tell you that he was the number one ranked wrestler in California at 215 when he was in high school. Uh, here he appears to be in some sort of renaissance fair or something. Uh, not sure. Um, but truly impressive physique. And as you're about to see in these highlights, very explosive and powerful player.